new video day. We uh, are headed out of La Paz, heading up north of Loreto yeah. to meet up with some folks. Uh, sounds like they're doing pizza night. So we're going to go meet with them and then we might backtrack a little bit. We haven't determined yet. Uh, but yeah, we're in La Paz still and at the OXO. Mm -hmm. and we got some ice for our cooler and uh, some ice cream. I think this is a standard ice cream sandwich and we got a... Yo, Gokoa Taro ice cream bar, which I think taro is a flavor. I don't know what it is, but um, it's funny how all the junk food in Mexico has these labels. Exceso calorías, exceso azucares, which is sugar. Mine's and got excessive. Exceso grasas oh, saturadas. You got three. Which you got three this time. I only got two on mine. Excessive saturated fat, so but we're in for a healthy snack. Make sure you uh, subscribe, comment, let us know what you want to know. We are headed to Alaska. So. We're going to let you know how these snacks are. I feel good about it. My ice cream's kind of yellow. I think it's supposed to be vanilla. Maybe it's not though. I don't know. I think it's like vanilla. Mm. Sabor. Oh, this is weird. Luckily, mm. ice cream's cheap down here. How much did you pay for these? A dollar for mine, a dollar fifty for yours. I don't think I'm a fan you of the taro trade? flavor. Well, you should just try it. I'll take a bite of this one. They had her favorite ones in there, but I didn't get it. What are my favorite ones? Those Magnum brand. Those are I don't remember which flavor. You, yeah, they're expensive. I don't remember which flavor you like, so I didn't get one. I thought I'd try to sneak one of these in and see if it was okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is vanilla. Pretty good. What do you think about that? No, it's fine. It's weird though, right? Is it like a fruit? I don't know. I need to look up what taro is. Uh oh. Alright. Make a mess? Yep. Oh no. Alright. Alright, we're done. Ice cream in the lap. We made it about 10 feet away from the oak, so. And Greg said, I have a feeling about that, Tacardia. I want to stop. Are they open? Yeah. What'd you order? Two carne asada tacos. How much are they? 25 pesos each. Alright. Let's see how they are. That's where we came from, folks. Oh yeah. We made it across the street. Ah, okay. it does smell good. Yeah, it looks good. It, just, it doesn't look I mean, cooked all just, the way. It's good, yeah, so it's just cooked. Yeah. Alright. I'm not too worried about it. I'm assuming this is not hot. <laughs> We're gonna assume? Sure. Maybe? Is the picante? Oh. No? No, it's perfect. No. Right. This one? Uh huh. Okay. okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Mucho. Mucho picante. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright. Gracias. Gracias. Adios. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Good no, stuff? No, 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 no. Like really hot, like. Mmm. That is actually really good. Super fresh and neat is like really flavorful and tender. Yeah. Excellent. So those are really good tacos. Uh, we've decided that Greg's taco radar is on point because he said he had a feeling about that place. Had a feeling about that place. And now we're trying to figure out what the slang term for taco radar would be. Is it tadar? Or? Takar? Takar taco radar? Taco, taco radar? Which is <laughs> taco or radar. Taco radar. <laughs> Faster.
are we going right now? 10 miles an hour. 10 miles an hour, folks. The semi is maxed out on this hill. <laughs> There's the one in front of the oh, uh, tour bus too. Yeah, we got a couple cars, a tour bus, and then a semi. It's gonna take us a long time to get through a four hour drive in this race. We made it to camp. Almost got stuck on the beach, but Chris from Adventure Islands helped us with a little push. Uh, the air down helps a lot too. We aired down and immediately it went a lot better. So, got a great view out the front door and uh, pizza parties at seven. All right guys, pizza night is in full effect over here at the Van camp. Yeah. We're gonna exactly. make some pizza. All right, Erin already made the dough in her fancy van kitchen. So she's gonna show me how we do it. Did you already oil this for me? I would put a little oil in there. Okay. Pizza. And it looks really good. And I'm really hungry, so it doesn't even really matter how Yeah, we're just eating food. <laughs> All right, well, we are moving on from this little van camp. Uh, we had a really nice sunrise. I walked the beach and then I got some work done and Greg hung out with our new friends. But we actually uh, have decided to go to Scorpion Bay after all. We were kind of undecided up till this morning. And then it looked like the surfer forts actually changed, changed to look good. So we are going to stock up on a few groceries, some ice for our cooler and then head that direction. Should be about a three to four hour drive today, hopefully. And we're gonna try to make it by dark. It's 2 p.m. now, so we have yeah. about five and a half hours till dark, so that should work out. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. I just made a couple friends in the grocery store parking lot while I was uh, filling up air on the tires, and they wanted to show me their house. Okay. That's it, what are those, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Naki. Si. Está bien. Mm. You. Uh, is that too too good stuff? You like? Si. Si. It's bueno. Yeah. Uh, es que house. Um, no. ¿Has cuenta no no? Yeah. No que no house house aquí. Aquí. It's good. Yeah. So there's our friends. I showed them our house. They like it. Update, we made it before sunset. 
is a took about three hours, which was the plan. Drive. Greg had the pedal to the metal. Um, but it was really important that we got here before dark. There's a lot of reasons why you're not. It's inadvisable to drive in Baja after dark. Cows. There's potholes. There's cows. Uh, there's basically all kinds of obstructions in the road, like sticks and rocks, and the roads are really narrow too, so uh, it's hard to avoid some of that stuff. But yeah, we made it. So we are scoping out the waves right now. They look pretty small, but uh, we'll find a camp here in a minute and get settled in for the for the next couple of days. my back not be tweaked anymore. Oh, we got a kind of chilly and overcast morning here. Kind of wet. <laughs> no waves. <laughs> it's only three hours out of the way though, right? Yeah. Each way. So hopefully... They get bigger? Yeah. <laughs> I went right. A lot. A lot. But you got some good ones, right? Got some good ones, made friends with the local. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was doing some cool maneuvers, you know, all in all. Good stuff. Toes to the nose? To, to, a couple toes to the <laughs> nose. Sweet. Now we are going to eat some guacamole that I just made. If you want to know how to make it, watch the last episode, I show you how. How's your birthday going, babe? Fantastic. You having some birthday drinks? Yes. What's your birthday drink of choice today? A rum and coke in today. Greg was really excited about finding uh, a cheap deal on rum in Cabo. Yeah. And we've been hauling this rum around for probably a month. a month. And he just now opened it for a birthday rum and coke. And you didn't see how we couldn't get the booze out of it, or did you record that? Well, I recorded a little bit. The booze were stuck. We had some problems opening the bottle, but problem solved. It's so now out here. we're going to go play phase 10. We're going to go play a card game that we've never played before, and hopefully it's fun. And then we'll probably have dinner, tacos. Yeah. And I got Greg a birthday cake. Yeah, I didn't see it yet, but I did. He did see it. Because <laughs> we're living the cooler life. How was your birthday, babe? Fantastic. Um, so we just went and played card games with Brittany and Drew. And, uh, well, I should say card game. Phase 10, which we'd never played before and it was actually pretty fun. But they said it was going to take like an hour. It took... I think over three hours. Yeah. Probably. So it's like 10 o'clock, which is way past our bedtime, and we haven't had dinner. Which um, is fine. Yeah, Greg had rum and cokes for dinner. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I did finally share. Where are we at? <laughs> it's right down here. You made some progress I on did, the rum. I did some progress. I would say it was... 
Yeah. About there. Right. So. So now, do you want to have birthday cake? I don't know. Should we have birthday cake? You want to have it tomorrow? We can have it tomorrow. Alright. Well, we can have it tonight then. It's your birthday cake. You eat it whenever you want. No, we're going to snack for before bed. And we'll have the cake tomorrow. Um, the surf sounds like it could be getting better. Or it's just because it sounds loud at night because it's quiet. Because it's not and the, windy. And the wind's not blowing right now. Yeah, so that's but, what we hear. It could be alright. So, yeah. Surf tomorrow. Surf Sunday and get out of here. We just finished breakfast this morning. And got some company. There uh, must just be on patrol. Come to the beach. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What happened? The stem fell off the chair. Ugh. The tres leche, which is our favorite cake. Cone kiwi. Unfortunately, it has fruit on top. I'm not. I'm chocolate. not a fruit on top person, personally. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna complain though. But I couldn't find the time we're talking on top like we like. And the cook for good. You approve? Mm hmm. You need to fight for me? Mm hmm. Oh, that is good. We are packing up already. So Greg mm -hmm. surfed this morning. This is a really cool spot when it's good, but the forecast isn't always correct. So we, there's no guarantees obviously with any surf forecast. We thought it was gonna be bigger than it was. Um, so we were gonna stay another day or so, but it's not really panning out. Uh, so we're gonna head out. Had a bit of an emergency water issue. We stopped to get some ice and um, I walked into the back of the van and there was a bunch of water on the floor so we had to figure out where it came from. Turns out um, one of our seven gallon jerry can water jugs it has like a air vent and it either got left open or got knocked open somehow so for the last two hours of us driving on a bumpy road it's been like sloshing out. And um, so we had some water on the floor, some water on like some of the wall panels, but we got out the heat gun and were able to figure out that it was not our water tank, which we were worried about, and that uh, that we could dry it out. So that's that. We'll make it to camp before dark still, hopefully. Evening folks, this 
looks extra tight. There, that's better. Uh, yeah, we made it into camp. Beautiful spot here. Tons of mountains. Gorgeous little bay. Nice and flat. I actually uh, surfed some windswell in 2019 in this exact spot, so it's kind of crazy to see it how it really is supposed to look. Uh, but yeah, beautiful mountains here. Van stuck in the sand. Uh, we'll work on that issue tomorrow. But we had some guacamole. Jess is in here making some dinner. Tacos. Looks a little messy, but it's not, I promise. <laughs> uh, we got some neighbors over here. And yeah, I think it's going to be a beautiful night. Good morning. Uh, this is one of my favorite places to watch the sunrise because the sun just lights up these mountains behind us. So I'm going to walk to a higher spot so that I can get a good vantage point. And Greg wanted to sleep, so I'm going to show you guys what happens up here. It's pretty magical. I almost didn't have enough time to get up to this high spot before the sunrise started. I should have gotten out of bed like maybe 10 minutes earlier, but I was like scrambling and running up this rock boulder field. I made it, but there's like cactus everywhere and I'm only wearing sandals, so it was kind of sketchy. Um, so yeah, beautiful spot. We really like this uh, area outside of Loretto and we're going to have a nice relaxing morning here. Maybe do a little walking, a little kayaking, a little spearfishing, or we may just go to town. I'm really not sure. I gotta talk to Greg because he's still in bed. Slacker. You're still sleeping? Yes. Did the neighbors wake you up? No. Did I just wake you up? No, I just rested. Oh. <sighs> we decided we're going to go kayaking this morning before we head into town. Um, but we're going to get ourselves unstuck first. So We were going to go backwards. Yeah. But backwards we... is no longer an option. <laughs> it's apparently beach day. And uh, we've got some company in there all right here, which is fine. Um, but we're gonna go forward and it's much softer forward, so this might be more of a challenge than we expected. We're all ready to uh, kayak, but we had some important business to take care of first. <laughs> Since the beach got crowded, we set up the, the bucket for our morning poo uh, between the back doors and then poo put the kayaks up. So Greg's having a poo with a view. It's also been a slow one, so I got out some <laughs> All right, we'll be on the water any minute now. <laughs> Dolphins, we're gonna try to get over there. They're like coming out fully out of the water.
It's so crazy because I was literally just saying to Greg, remember how last time we were here we chased those dolphins and there were only two dolphins but we paddled so hard to try to catch up to them and then literally like 30 seconds later that whole pod of dolphins came right at us. So I think they're just circling in the bay. We'll see if they come, come back. It looks like they're coming back our direction now. They're coming back for us. There's some right over here. The whole group's coming right at us. I don't know. why we love these pack rafts is because they go from that size to this size. Advertising says size of a paper towel roll. It's a pretty big paper towel roll, yeah. but I mean, maybe if I did better, they definitely were smaller when we got them. Yeah, pretty cool though. We are all packed up and headed out of this beach. Uh, we had a great time kayaking, saw some really cool stuff. The dolphins were a bonus and we ended up seeing them a second time on our way back to the beach. Uh, we are going to head into town into Laredo and see if the downtown campground has spots. It's a really cool spot and we enjoy parking kind of right down in the square. But it's Sunday night so we're worried that they might be full. Um, but I do need service for today to get a little work done so we'll have to figure that out once we get to town. Any thoughts you want to add? I'm ready to eat food. Mm. We're gonna eat some food.